Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Crypeman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, kind of look at our Metaball modeler. Um, now, let's go ahead and drop a Metaball object into our assembly room and go into the modeler proper. And uh, you'll notice that the, there isn't a whole lot here. There, every th Everything that you have and that you have to do is going to happen right in this small area right here. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out. These are, these are your tools, pretty much. Um, these are what you'll be using to represent your modeling process. This is your, um, you have a positive sphere, uh, positive cube, um, cylinder, and a, what they call a cushion, and you have negative versions of those right over here. Now let's go ahead and uh, drop a sphere in here. And you notice if you need to move it, oh, yeah, you know, if you, one thing about the way that this models is uh, is if you uh, you got to double click everything. There's an initiation click and there's a terminator click. In your terminator click, you can still do everything you can with the initiation click, but for some reason it has to be a double click thing. Um, so be aware of that. This is a very quirky modeler. And I think it's like the redheaded stepchild of, uh, <laughs> of Ray Dream. You know, they really didn't put a whole lot of, uh, they didn't advance the, uh, the way it works or anything at all. So it doesn't seem to anyway. But uh, anyway, so we have a sphere in here. Let's go ahead and uh, affect it with a negative sphere. And you notice how the representations come up. Now, if you're going to move this, uh, you can't just push option and then swing it around and then you know look at another angle it's going to keep on making uh, geometry we don't like that or we don't want that to happen particular in this particular instance anyway and you notice how your negative geometry affects your positive geometry I think where am I at here oh there it goes Spin this around. There it is. All right. So there's our geometry with some geometry uh, messed with. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this. Oop. Got his double click. I keep forgetting. Let's duplicate it. Select it again. Move it back and forth. And if you go from the top view, and you have preset positions you can go to, go to the top view, you can uh, do other things to it. Let's duplicate, duplicate. And you can get some really interesting shapes to happen, but you got, it, it takes a little practice, it really does. This is one of those ones that it takes a little practice. Let's go to um, preset position uh, reference, and you notice that we have our little metaball modeling shapes here. There we go. And you notice how when this comes through, how it affects everything. See that? Now, what you can do too is you can push Control. And normally the control is the command alternative for PC, so I don't know what your what the uh, command is for that. But if you push control in, on a Mac, there we go. Push control and then push uh, then push uh, your left key, your left uh, click on your mouse. Um, you have a whole slew of options right here. You can make geometry. You can make other geometry. You can uh, put negative geometry. Um, in this particular case, I can scale this up and down on the z-axis. Get some really interesting shapes going. Click that again. And get some interesting shapes going. And. Uh, what you can do here too, oh, double click, <laughs> initiate, terminate. Um, you can change the color of your geometry. If if it starts getting too, 
uh, complex. Oh, duh. I forgot. This little, these little tabs right here. This gives you better fidelity. You can, you can see more real time of what the, it's actually doing. Or you can go here, and uh, you can kind of uh, check out things. Now, the more, the more complex your geometry gets, the more you want to use um, initiate terminate. Like I said, it doesn't work like the rest of the stuff, and it, it seems like you ought to be able to could integrate with Carrera a little bit better. But um, yeah, you, this is real time feedback of what it actually would look like, and because these colors don't change out here on your on this, it doesn't change. And you notice the little creases and the little edges right there. Um, you can kind of get rid of those by uh, Hitting the couple of their what's up? All right. There we go. Holy moly! Initiate, terminate, and you can do surface fidelity, and uh, you can get some. Let you can get some really high values. Oh, it doesn't do 500. Do 400. get some really high values in there and it'll smooth things out just a little bit more now uh, like I said the metabol modeler is something that really takes a little bit of you gotta pay a little bit of attention to it and you can get some really good results make sure you keep your grid on and uh, you have a better chance of surviving <laughs> the process but uh, yeah check it out it's it's pretty cool it's quirky but it is cool and uh, it's part of Carrera. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.